What is Karl Popper's theory? What makes a theory scientific? Is it the number of times it has been proven right? Or is it something deeper, something that challenges the very way we think about knowledge and truth? This is the story of Karl Popper, a philosopher who changed the way we see science by focusing not on proof, but on disproof. His theory of falsification introduced a radical new idea that a scientific theory must be able to be proven false. Welcome to the mind of Karl Popper. Karl Popper was born in Vienna in 1902. It was a time of scientific breakthroughs and philosophical questions. Influenced by thinkers like Albert Einstein and Sigmund Freud, Popper was fascinated by the nature of knowledge. But one question haunted him. How do we separate science from pseudoscience? In a world filled with ideas, how can we know what's real? At the time, many believed that the goal of science was to verify theories. The more evidence, the stronger the theory. But Popper questioned this. He noted that theories like psychoanalysis could explain nearly anything about human behavior, yet they were hard to disprove. He wondered, if a theory could explain everything, does it really explain anything at all? Verification seemed straightforward. If you observe enough evidence supporting a theory, it must be true, right? But Popper saw a flaw. History was full of proven theories that were later discarded. For centuries, people believed the Earth was the center of the universe. They had evidence, or so they thought. And yet, this theory was ultimately proven false. Popper proposed a revolutionary idea. A theory isn't scientific because it has been verified, but because it can be falsified. For a theory to be scientific, it must make predictions that can potentially be proven wrong. He called this the principle of falsifiability. If a theory could withstand attempts to falsify it, it gained strength. But if it could be disproven, then it was time to move on to new ideas. Let's consider a simple example. Imagine a scientist proposes a theory. All swans are white. To make this scientific, the theory needs to be falsifiable. That means we must look for evidence that could prove it wrong. So, the scientist looks for swans of other colors. If a black swan is found, the theory is falsified. This is the core of Popper's idea. The strength of a scientific theory lies in its ability to be challenged. Popper's theory of falsification isn't just about swans. It has deep implications for all scientific inquiry. When we make our theories open to disproof, we open the door to progress. A theory that has been tested and has survived falsification is stronger. But more importantly, falsifiability keeps us humble. It reminds us that our theories are never ultimate truths, but always subject to question. History shows us how falsification has driven science forward. When Copernicus proposed a heliocentric model, he was challenging centuries of belief. Einstein's theory of relativity replaced parts of Newtonian physics because it made new predictions that could be tested, and Newton's laws couldn't account for everything. Popper's ideas weren't without critics. Philosopher Thomas Kuhn argued that science progresses not by falsification, but by paradigm shifts periods of normal science interrupted by revolutionary changes. Imre Lakatos, another philosopher, suggested that scientists don't abandon theories after a single falsifying event, but often modify their theories to account for anomalies. Despite this, Popper's influence remains strong. Today, Popper's ideas are embedded in the scientific method. From climate change models to theories about the universe, Scientists look for ways to test their theories, and if those theories can be proven false, they are either refined or replaced. This process drives science forward, ensuring that it remains a discipline of constant questioning. Falsification isn't just for scientists. It's a way of thinking that encourages us to challenge our assumptions, to be open to new ideas, and to recognize that the search for knowledge is never-ending.
Popper's philosophy can inspire us all to look for the flaws in our beliefs and seek out new perspectives. Karl Popper showed us that science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a journey, guided by curiosity, skepticism, and a relentless pursuit of truth. It's not about proving ourselves right, but about embracing our own limitations and seeking to understand the world a little better each day. So, the next time you think you've got it all figured out, ask yourself, what would prove me wrong? If you enjoyed this journey into the world of philosophy and science, make sure to subscribe. Let us know in the comments how you think Popper's theory can apply to today's world, and share this video with anyone who loves exploring the big questions in life. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.